I wanted to share a story with you that I came across in the past week. Um, have you heard of the song Mood by 24K Golden? I don't think so. So tell me. So, so I have to listen to it though. It's, it's the number one song in the world. And I, it's okay. Now I feel you, old that I don't know. I, I just I, ruined that moment. I, wait, 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 wait. I didn't know it either before hearing this story. But right. the story shook me. So huh. basically, the artist was saying how he, how the song came to be. And someone was asking him, how did the song come to be? And mm -hmm. he said, well, you know, I wish I could take all the credit for it. But what happened was I was playing video games. My friend comes in with the guitar and he starts playing along and he starts singing. And all of a sudden his friend says, stop, we have to record that. And that turned out to be the number one song in the world. He yeah, was just, love that. he was just in his own zone, in his own element and not even thinking of anything. And the words come to him that turn into a song that's been played hundreds of millions of times. That's uh, your this. thesis, right? Okay, I think it is actually. Now, now I like want to just play some of this. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna play some. Good vibes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I get. I, I get it. I like it. The um, yeah. I think that what you just said is it does go right to the heart of it because if you can get into that effortless state, that's where creativity is. That's where good things happen. That's where. Um, I mean, there's a theory behind this. Barbara Fredrickson is a researcher put, you know, named. It's called broaden and build. And it basically means once you get in positive emotion, it produces better options. So you can take better action and you're going to get better results. I mean, that's the summary. If you are in negative emotions, if you're in a poor state, then you will tend to see fewer options. You know, fight, flight, freeze. I mean, you're very limited in your options and in your relationships and so then you are you know less able to take uh, effective action uh, and less uh, less able to get good results and, and this is the the build part is that you are weaker as a person your network is weaker to be able to deal with whatever the next challenge is uh, the next big challenge for us in our family was uh, you know like with everybody though was the pandemic and what i noticed and was surprised by and pleasantly surprised by was how intuitive uh, a response there was within the family culture that we automatically were like okay what can we be grateful about what can we focus on I mean the principle is that like when we focus on what we lack then we lose what we have when we focus on what we have we get what we lack. So it's like, it, 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 if you focus on the things that you have, it expands what you have. And I, I have experienced that many times. And I literally just want to go from now to the end of my life emphasizing this. Because what I, what I have seen is like a multiplier effect where as soon as you start being grateful for the things that you have, it's like, oh, you, you like that? There's an, old, there's an old parable around this. Something like, uh, you know, there's, there's the, the man's walking along the road and he's, he's complaining about something. And as, as the story goes, it's like God says to him, oh, you think that's hard? Let me show you what's hard. And then the next person is the same person who's walking down the road, same scenario. He says, uh, says oh, I'm so grateful for that little thing. And he says, oh, you think that's something to be grateful for? Let me give you, let me show you this. And I feel that reality, that what you focus on grows. What you focus on grows. That is a true thing. And so if you focus on what's going right, on what someone's doing right, if you talk about it, they'll tend to do more of it. That's true with teenagers. It's true with young children. It's true with teams. It's true with customers. I mean, you focus on what is going right, it expands. And people want to be part of that. And, and this is the key to momentum and a movement. And, uh, and, and so, yeah, I, I, uh, somehow we're back on gratitude, which is exactly, exactly <laughs> right. <laughs>